Hey guys, it's Leah Virgin, your Christian coach, mentor, prayer warrior, and writer at Bursting with Blessings. And I am so happy to be with you guys today. It is Wednesday at 3.34. And <laughs> apparently, I have something in my tooth. Sorry, guys. Hashtag real and raw. I had lunch a little while ago. With arugula. <laughs> mm, guys love me because it's so real. It was there. Not anymore. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> what did you guys have for lunch today? My favorite thing to have for lunch is pasta with pesto from Tra not Trader Joe's. From Costco. The Kirkland Real Amazing jar of pesto, you put a, a scoop, some pasta, whatever protein you can find in your refrigerator, and whatever green you want. So I will throw peas in it, I will throw broccoli in there, arugula is my favorite from Trader Joe's, um, or any, I mean anything. I mean, peppers, you name it. You can throw it in this pesto and whatever protein you like and voila. It feels like an elegant lunch. It does. And it also gets stuck in your teeth and it's still there. You guys love me. It's still there. <laughs> so today I posted a verse that I found. Um... Hey, how are you? Thanks for popping on. I uh, posted a verse that I found yesterday in the midst of feeling exhausted. You guys, I was so tired from everything that has happened with Mimi needing surgery on her little doggy paw and... Um, you know, some other like emotional, like family stuff and like all kinds of the things, right? Life happens, right? This is our life journey. <laughs> and I always say I'm blessed no matter the circumstances, right? So people will ask me, you know, how I'm doing and I'm abundantly blessed no matter the circumstances. This is, this is the truth. The truth is I'm abundantly blessed. A, I have oxygen in my lungs. B, I have, uh, I have my Savior, Jesus Christ. I know that I, no matter where I go, my Lord is with me. No matter what happens, He is with me. No matter, you know, this world is not my home in terms of this is not my forever home. This is not it. It's not this and, and nothing else happens. But yesterday was super emotional um and so i i'm sorry guys i was not able to pop on here and do a live although i did give you you know did post some stuff uh, it was one of those like okay i, w I was in bed at like seven ish i was in bed at seven something and um i was reading my bible and praying and my husband came back from taking the boys to um, mountain biking and I was just like I'm done I'm like I love you but I'm done <laughs> how are you ah, good night I mean it was just one of those days where it was like okay I am not I'm not staying up we can't have a conversation on how life is going it's one of those seasons of life where things are super compact you know, bursting with a lot of things. Um, you know, I even reached out to a friend of mine and said, hey, I'm sorry, we haven't even talked and that isn't even fair. Like, and she's got stuff going on and I can't even be there for her right now because there's so much going on with me too. And, you know, and by be there, I mean, if she needs me, I'm going to get up and physically go there. I mean, like, be there as in, like, chitty chatting on the phone for, you know, long periods of time. I don't mean, like, I can't be there for her. God, that sounds awful. But, no, I mean, like, I can't just pick up and just, you know, 
run over there. So it's actually hot on the East Coast. So I don't know where you guys are. L definitely let me know where you're watching from. I absolutely love to hear, you know, Iowa, Arizona, uh, Missouri. I love that. That's like, that's so much fun for me to, to hear. I forgot my cross. I just noticed it. It was like, I, I, I'm one of those that's like sensory and I also like fiddle with things. So I miss, my cross is upstairs. So anyway, the trials and challenges of life happen, right? And so, you know, sometimes we just have to regroup, right? We have to regroup. We have to go to bed early and, you know, let that day go, pray, get into the word, and then pick ourselves back up the next day. And so that that's definitely a word that I share with you guys. Like, don't just power through rough days, right? You know, give yourself rest. Go to bed early if you can. I know that's not always a possibility. And sometimes we have to just, you know, ask the Lord for strength you know, gird me with, you know, strength, um, reinvigorate me. But we also have to know that we have to also be careful with ourselves during difficult trials and times. And it looks like my Wi-Fi is going out. Yeah. Sorry, Facebook. Instagram's going because, um, Yep, there we go, Wi-Fi back on. I don't know what's going on. So, you know, that's just a word of encouragement. During difficult times, it's it's hard to, you know, give ourselves um, extra rest. But during challenges and trials, I encourage you guys, take extra rest. You know, carve out um, if you can. I know it's not always possible. Don't get me wrong. I mean, spending 4.5 five hours in an emergency vet was exhausting, exhausting. And all I was doing was sitting there, right? It's like, <laughs> it's not like I was running a marathon. I mean, I got home and I was just like, I'm so tired, you know? <laughs> and yesterday, just going and having them sit there and talk to me about all her medications and all the things and, you know, having to take my daughter and got her hair done and, you know, we're dealing with a family, another another thing in our family and some emotional stuff. And it's like and all those things can wear out our, you know, energy reserves. And when I saw this verse, I thought this is the verse. This is a verse that, A, I'm going to be adding this verse into the Bible study that um, will be available. It's available for pre-purchase on my website um, for $4.99. So $4.99 is perfect, but it will be going up as soon as it's released. It'll be going up to $9.99. So, but uh, I love, I love, love this verse because it talks about, um, it talks about the way God can reinvigorate us when we reach out and we cry out to him. <laughs> and so I'm going to start and you know what, let's just read the whole thing, y'all. Psalm 138, I'm telling you what, Psalm 138, a Psalm of David, I will give you thanks with all my heart. I will sing praises to you before the gods, before people. I will bow down towards your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word according to all your... Uh, excuse me, according to all your name. On the day I called, you answered me. You made me bold with strength in my soul. And that was why I posted in the devotional today, like the word of God is, you know, it is the food that our soul needs. It's the food that our body needs. It reinvigorates our soul and our mind and and just our heart. And, and, and we can just feel, Feel the energy of the Lord flowing through us when we get 
into the word when we dig into the word and we really soak it up like a tree does you know soaks up that word and gets it deep inside and and just you know so that it can cling and be a balm to every hurt place in our soul and mind all the kings of the earth will give thanks to you O lord when they have heard the words of your mouth and they will sing of the ways of the Lord for great is the glory of God for the for though the Lord is exalted yet he regards the lowly but the haughty he knows from afar though I walk in the midst of trouble you will revive me you will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies and your right hand will save me. The Lord will accomplish what concerns me and you. Your loving kindness, O Lord, is everlasting. Do not forsake the works of your hands. And you can just like, I can just hear David. Like I can, I like have this visual uh, of him kind of in my mind this 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 visual of of this man who is strong but you know humble at this moment don't get me wrong he had some prideful noodle-headed moments i'm wrong but so do i <laughs> i don't know about you guys i have some prideful noodle-headed moments but at this moment right now you know, he's in a season of his life where he is, you know, he's under attack. You can hear him, though I walk in the midst of trouble. And, you know, you will revive me. And it's like, I, and God works all things for our, our benefit and his glory, right? Things that we walk through, they, they are used to mature us, to transform us, to, you know, make it so that we are, are the hands and feet of God, right? These things that we experience. Everyone is going to go through challenges and trials. No one is going to have a perfect life. None. There is not one, right? Pick up your cross and come after, you know, walk with me, right? Walk with Christ. But he walks with us, right? He is the balm to our weary soul and the broken pieces he fuses back together. And then they're made stronger, just like a bone that's broken, right? And and the bone is set on the word of God and the calcium, right? It make that one place is stronger than all the rest of the bone, right? And so if we fuse those weary, broken pieces together with the word of God, they will be stronger than ever before. We will be stronger. We will be able to persevere. Our mindset in the midst of trials and tribulations will not be complaining and woe is me and oh my God, and I can't do this. And trust me, I have, may have recently <laughs> said those things, right? But the more God works on me and the more I work into the word, the more they become grafted into my been changed so that I am renewed in my mind my spirit my soul so that the words that come out of my mouth are different are so different that then my trials and tribulations are also different they're different because I see them differently I walk through them differently I walk through them with intention to learn to grow walk with intention to plug in and speak the word of God over them day by day moment by moment and that doesn't mean that i still don't have to say the word of god multiple times a day but i think that's what god wants he wants us to dig into the word and use it it is our shield it is our lamp it lights the way and the path right it turns the crooked places straight the word of god the power power of life and death the power to create the abundant joyful life in all circumstances and that may not be like joy like we think in our american mindset like 
I am so happy. Everything's hunky-dory. No, but the joy of understanding that the Lord is with me in the midst of this. He gives me beauty for ashes. My tears. I sing with joy and praise in the morning, right? So I just want to pray for us. I want to pray that the Lord would make us bold with strength in our soul. Bold to speak the word of God over every circumstance in our life multiple times a day. Right? Not just carving out a small little chunk of time, but multiple times a day speaking it until it just becomes a part of what we say and how we act. Is that when we speak the recipe that we use to walk through the day is God's word grafted, the glue that holds us together. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, God Almighty, thank you so much. Thank you that your word is a lamp unto our feet. That your word makes the crooked places straight. That your word is a lamp unto our feet. That your word is what guides us. Your word becomes the ingredients and the recipe to live our life intentionally and joy-filled, even in the midst of trials and challenges. Lord God, your word is that beautiful, beautiful balm, healing. Your healing energy flows in us. Lord God, make our, our soul strong. Make our mind a sponge for your word. Make our heart filled with your holy word so that when we speak, your word comes spilling out of our mouth so that we can speak your word to our challenges. Speak your word to our circumstances. Speak your word to those that are hurting. Speak your word to those that are jerks on the road. We can say, may the Lord be with you and bless you and heal your selfishness. Lord God. Help us to be humble. Help us to imprint your holy word upon our hearts and minds. Help us to soak it up. Your word is the food we eat, the water that 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 fills our thirsty soul, that 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 covers the charred burnt places that this world can do. Lord, we praise you. And we thank you. Lord, help us to just dig in deep for that peace that surpasses all worldly understanding. I thank you for this day. I thank you for your holy word. I thank you for your might, your love. I thank you, Jesus, for walking with us every single day, every step of the way. You never leave us nor forsake us. Your presence is always in us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No matter how our emotions are, the truth is is that you are with us. The truth is that you dwell in us. The truth is that you want to heal and lead us. Lord, help us to put our, ourselves in your capable hands. May we submit ourselves for transformation and change. May we grow in maturity and perseverance. May we have blessed eyes to see ideas and solutions that no others would. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. I wish you abundant blessings. If you have any special prayer requests, please feel free to reach out. And I pray that God would continue to lead and guide you to his word that you need for today. Amen.